Hello everyone, this is Sayed from itlearn.us. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing pricing. And I will go into system and then see, and I will compare this uh, this block notes to the uh, how pricing is uh, I have discussed up here in this blog up here. So, how SAP SD pricing functions works in SAP. So, uh, it's based on condition technique. Okay, okay, condition technique. What is condition technique? Is uh, in SAP, there's uh, they have created condition technique for various uh, functions, partner determination, account determination, pricing, and so on, output determination. So, uh, so we need to understand before we do pricing condition technique, and we need to understand where pricing is used in SAP. So pricing is used in uh, various places in inquiry document, quotation document, sales document, billing document, and and if we are going to do pricing, that uh, it could be that inquiry document and quotation document, uh, we can quote different price, and it need to come into sales order as a different price based on the quotation, or in sales order we have different price, and billing document we have different price. There could be a uh, business requirement and uh, business process that that can cause that. So we need to use SAP to the full extent and um, and mold into the requirements. So for that, we need to understand condition technique. Okay, so condition technique based on we we create um, uh, table based based on some fields. So and then we create access sequence and then uh, okay first of all what is what is the table why we need a table so when we do create a table let's suppose we have customer or material that that we need one field to base price on that customer masters this field and that field uh, need to be in the table so or it could be a combination of a uh, couple of fields so we need to put these fields into the table and create a table and so we can use this field as a basis for prices and these fields will be used in access sequence access sequence is just um, a search strategy for the pricing and for the system to look up the pricing so uh, so then access sequence created and then access sequence used in condition type and in condition type we use only one access sequence and uh, from condition type we used condition type into the um, procedure now procedure is a uh, little bit complex where we use uh, more condition types in it and they can be calculated and they could be a 16 step process to do that and uh, before before we go to the procedure Condition type itself have a lot of functionality need to be discussed. That is have a header data and, and then uh, and more information in there that we can use controls in there as well. And after procedure, we create the procedure determination and then from there we use condition technique. Uh, uh, so this is condition technique based on the table access sequence condition type and procedure and condition record so so this is just uh, some small more notes about it and this more a little bit more about condition technique and also where is used also and after that the condition record need to be created there's a t code for that vk11 and we can use this to create condition record so let's go to the system and let's compare the word notes so uh, let's go to SPRO. SPRO is a default for the customization, and we can go to the back end or system and customize the system. So SPRO reference guide implementation guide. So we are going to go in sales and distribution and basic function. And we're here. We have pricing up here. And in pricing, there is more uh, to it. 
I just uh, define this very general and very uh, vague uh, top level understanding of this instance. So there is a condition table, condition type, access sequence, pricing procedure and uh, these, these, these are the very very main main steps for that we need to do a pricing determination and pricing setup so hopefully this video helps and please post a question uh, or a feedback and I will include this link into the, in the bottom of the video thank you for watching and uh, please post a question and comment thank you